when it comes to what is a swing like and someone brings up chopping a tree and they seem to think it's not the same, chopping the tree, the job is different. But the motion of chopping a tree is as different as the upstroke is from the downstroke. So when you're chopping a tree, it's you're thinking about chopping down or thinking about chopping up or thinking about swinging level. So let's look at it another way. Let's think of what the arm does when you're swinging with one hand. Well, it's going to finish low. Just like if you were going to throw, your arm's going to finish down low. The arm is pronating, and that's where it wants to go. But then you add the other arm into the equation, and it keeps the, the swing more level because the bottom hand supinates, and it wants to take another path. So you take the combination between the two movements and you take the path of least resistance you also have to take the intention of what you're trying to do are you hitting a ball are you chopping wood are you hitting a nail with a hammer it's that intention that is going to guide the plane of the implement that you're using and just because the swing may end up higher it has nothing one thing has nothing to do with the other the fact that you're finishing higher is simply because you had to lean over a little bit more, and we all know that. So if someone were to give me advice like swing like an ax, I would obviously be taking into context what I was doing wrong in the first place and why he asked me to swing that way. Because there's a lot of other things that we have in common. Are they referring to my posture, my body position? Am I swinging up too much? Is my angle way too sharp and swinging straight down? what are we talking about and what should I change in my thinking? So when I see research arguing the merits or the disadvantages of swinging like an ax, I immediately understand that the person is gagging on a gnat and thinking way too literally about swing, swinging like an ax because when I'm swinging an ax, I'm trying to chop a tree. When I'm swinging a bat, I'm trying to hit a ball. They're completely too different intentions so when I hear research like this I think well, what are we talking about because are we saying you don't want to swing exactly like a downstroke when you're chopping a tree well of course not I don't want to hit the ball that far down on the ball so that I pop it up because it's kind of like the excuse when you're trying to describe something and you're just using perspective and you say well you hit the bottom half of the ball to get backspin you're saying that you want the ball to go on a 45 degrees. But at that time, if the, per if the person hits a pop-up and he thinks automatically that, well, that can't be right because I hit a pop-up. Instead of thinking, well, maybe I didn't get enough of the baseball. Maybe I need to, to not chop down on the ball that much. Make an adjustment. Remember, it's always the analog radio dial in every conversation about everything. And it's a little strange to me because... You have intelligent adults thinking about this, and I, I'm trying to not say this in a, in a negative way, but they're v very capable of having abstract conversations about other things. But when it comes to baseball, all reason goes out the window, and they're not able to have that abstract conversation about something and making adjustments. And quite frankly, it gives research in the name of hitting a baseball a bad name because they're not qualified yet to actually be having the conversation with peop people who understand the game.